Hey everyone, this is Leo with uh, Digital Track, and today I have Eric Santos. We're going to be talking about his new movie coming out, um, Fill Your Heart. And Eric, welcome. How are you doing, Leo? Pretty good, thank you. Good to be here with you. Thank you, thank you so much. So, I met Eric um, some time ago, and we started talking about the movie that you have coming now. You tell me a little bit about your story as well. Yes. And um, I wanted to bring to the audience here to talk to learn about the movie that is actually going to be released here in Vacaville, right? Uh, you mentioned that a lot of the scenes are also were in the Vacaville area. Yeah, about 80% of the scenes were done here in Vacaville. Okay. And about 20% were done um, in Daly City, which okay. is right out of San Francisco. So definitely a lot to do with uh, our area, Solano County and the San Francisco Bay areas in general as well. So it's something that I would like to bring you, the audience, more information to learn more about the movie and sort of the, what led Eric to make the movie. But first, let's go ahead and introduce Eric and have us share a little bit more about him. So Eric, tell us about where you're from, you know, um, Kind of your background, what you did, and, and your, your family, if you want to share. Sure. I'm a first generation uh, from El Salvador here in the United States. So I have uh, six boys, from my mother and father. So I'm the, the fifth of six boys, no, no sisters. And uh, so there were three were born in El Salvador, three were born here in the United States. I was, I was the one born, uh, the second one born here in the state of San Francisco. Um, grew up in Davis City. And uh, my father, when he was back home in El Salvador, he was a, a TV producer, uh, working with uh, Luis Echegoyan in Channel 14 in Mission. Okay. And then, uh, but my dad, when he got here to the United States, he couldn't get into the field, you know, his field. So he became a waiter for uh, the, the clip, uh, the, the, the Four Seasons clip in San Francisco. Once you guys were moved. Yeah, once we moved in. Right, right. So he did that for... You know, so it's like it started from the bottom. Yeah, yeah he started with yes, dishwasher, the whole bit. And then, uh, so I kind of, you know, w w within our talks, I kind of got into, uh, you know, the, that, that producing bug. So when I went to college, I, you know, that, that's what, what my major was, communications. You, yeah. Sorry to interrupt you. Do you think that was because of uh, what you saw growing up, right, that what your dad was into and the war kind of, that kind of the war products yeah. around you that got you interested in. Yeah. Well, it's definitely because my, my, my dad was, he, he was very visual. He always loved movies and he loved music. And, you know, movies for me were kind of oh, off and on, but I loved music. So but I definitely got his music bug and then I became, you know, he was always a very good storyteller. So, you know, he would always tell passionate stories and, you know, wow. and you would just listen to him for, you know, for however long he spoke. So he really captured me with uh, with being able to tell a story. So this movie that I had in my mind for 20 years, really, you know, all in my mind, and uh, you know, and I just thought it was just from life experiences, you know, different people's behaviors and personalities that I decided to, you know, to to write this movie. And you know, and it's 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 um, for the most part, it's it's a fiction, but it has a very you know nonfiction base. You know, you know of, of just life experience that, that transcends, you know, any any race, any genre. It's everyday life in the movie, and you know, and what I what I'm always experiencing. You know, I love, uh, you know, uh, Hispanic cinema, but the problem is that, you know, the, the, the American ones are always put us in a, you know, in a light war. You know, we're either gang members or, or you know, you know, so it's so good with like Edward James always done. We call American Me, where it's a prison movie. I enjoyed it. But I, I always looked at, you know, we're, we're more than just being mm -hmm. prisoners. So mm -hmm. I decided to do a, a real life, you know, you know, uh, dramatic movie uh, and showing us in an everyday life of how we how we live our lives. Okay. You know, everyday people, you know. So. Okay, Eric, thank you. But also, you already touched a little base on how do you come up with the movie. But I want to see if you can elaborate more with us about um, the idea that you had about everything with the movie, right? Like how you come across or how you came about with the idea of what the movie was going to be about and what actually led you to You know, um, like I said, my father was always a music guy. So 
music was always very important to me. So the movie, it starts out with two best friends that grew up in Daly City. So the, the, the scenery is Daly City, though, it was filmed in Vacaville. Um, you know, so these two best friends that they're into DJing, and that's something that I did. So I do a lot about DJing. Mm-hmm. And so that's part of real life. Right, part of real life. And, you know, and I remember that I, I, I wanted to make music. I, you know, I don't want to just play somebody, you know, I want to make my own music. So, mm-hmm. you know, so that was like one of the character things that I had written down. Okay. I go, okay, I'm going to make a guy making the music. Um, so I, I kind of wrote the whole, the whole story in my head, you know, without, you know, uh, putting it down with this last year to me a year to write it. But the problem that I had was I didn't have the ending to the movie. And for so for the 20 years, the problem that I, the reason I, I did not put it down on paper was because I thought that it was unfinished. Wow. And, you know, and it was, you know, so one, once I understood what the ending was, mm. and then I was able to, to write it down on paper. And it took about, you know, it took some, some time <laughs> to, to write it. And once you write a script, um, you know, you have to go into rewriting it and rewriting it. And you have, you know, oh, and then you doubt yourself on certain scenes. So it's a very uh, strenuous part, you know, for, uh, procedure to, to get the, uh, the, uh, the movie the way you want it. Wow. And then you get criticized because, oh, I don't like this part here. So you have to really stand firm on, you know, my thoughts, my beliefs, because there's so many people that want to take it their way. Oh, really? And, and, and so tell us a little bit more about how that works. So, you got your script, mm-hmm. but then you were going to seek out the advice for people that were telling you this stuff, or well, what were they? So what ends up happening after I write my script, or then I have to give it to an editor. So mm-hmm. you have, you know, to check my, you know, my grammar and check, you know, check okay. make sure yeah. that everything's set. So you have people that read, you go through it and read it, and then they come back with all these notes of, you know, it's almost like getting your, uh, your, your. Your test score uh, graded in school, mm-hmm. right? okay. so it comes back with everything circled in red pen, and then I have to review it and, and explain myself, and then you know take their ideas and suggestions, and sometimes reformulate uh, you know certain paragraphs, sentence scenes, right? So and and it can go back and forth, you know, for months, you know, you're going back and forth, and then sometimes they they, they suggest. You know, I think your character should go this way, right? And I'm going, no, no, no. You know, then my character is going to go this way, right? So you have to. I at least had to really. You know, there's sometimes I would, I would, you know, listen to them and say, you know, that sounds better. Let me try it. And you know, so you just rewrite, rewrite whatever comes, you know, whatever feels better to me, and and seems better for the character and for the movie overall is typically what I go for. So, but it is a, a very, uh, you know, different process. And, I think I'm writing my next movie now, and I noticed that you know I, now I'm more better equipped for the okay. for the uh, the procedure where it's being edited because now I know what to expect. Okay, and this but, uh, I didn't know. <laughs> uh, that's really a, a learning process, yes. but I'm glad that you mentioned that even though you need an editor to help, that you had that you have some non-negotiables. Like okay, even though you were said told one thing. Right. You still had the non-negotiables. I like, uh, what wanted to preserve the areas on the movies that you yes. know that couldn't be changed. Right, that's what you want. You know, there, there's like one 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 example is that you know I wanted to make this you know a family movie. You know, uh, with, with with good values. And there are times when I they came and said, you know, I think that this person should use this foul language here or here or here. Mm-hmm. And I you know and I go. No, I go. I, I don't need to use foul language to get the mm-hmm. point across, right? Mm-hmm. No, but I think that, you know they were really adamant to put these words in it. I'm saying mm-hmm. no, it doesn't need to. Be. So on that, I was very strict. You know, that's that's sort of a reflection of your values, I, I guess. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And I know you already sort of gave us a little bit of, of what the movie is about, but I'm not sure if you want to dig in a little bit more <laughs> you know, for my information. About you know, because we've got two best friends, we've got, you know, guys that are music, and then they, they kind of go, they, they butt heads because they have different opinions of how they're looking at the music you go. One guy wants to be innovative, the other guy wants to, you know, to rest upon what they know, and they're making money there. So they, they go their own separate ways, and then, you know, and then we have, you know, a betrayal that goes on, right? You know, we have, you know, then, then the other elements of life come through where, you know, we have, uh, you know, um, you know, there's going to be some type of, you know, 
drug to come involved, right? Um, an addiction overall. Um, you know, we've got greed that comes in, right? You know, so, you know, it's something that so becomes so innocent, then it gets corrupted. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, and that's kind of where the movie goes. And then, you know, we, we see if there's somehow that there could be a, a reconciliation between the two. Uh, you know, then there's some, you know, other, there's other characters that are also within the circle, you know, female characters and, you know, and I don't want to give the whole story away, but, you know, but there's, there, there's, um, you know, there's just, uh, it, it's a, it's a, just a great drama. And sometimes it's, I, I like it because you know, I've had, you know, we had screen uh, testings and it's hard to follow the movie. A lot of people, sometimes you can kind of tell, oh, I know they're going to go here, here, and here. But this one here, it, it's, it takes you, I mean, you, you can't really guess what's going to go next. Okay. But I did like the fact that, um, well, in reference to when you shared some of the movie about to me, is that it does provide a lot of reflection on what people can have can have in real life. Either yes. it is with um, family situations, uh, job situations, yes. even business situations. So, for yes. in the example that these are two young men, mm-hmm. right, um, in in the DJ industry, but one had a bigger dream. So, right. You know, that could relate to a lot of the Hispanic community that could be like one who wants to do more yeah. than the other one. You know, it's a lot of, I think, in a culture, you could relate for those of you the audience could be that uh, perhaps, you know, culture sometimes will be not, not in a sense because they don't want us to do it, but to protect us. Yeah. Family members could be, you could have an idea like, I want to go and do this, yeah. I want to go and be a president. Mm-hmm. Uh, mayor and the family may be like no president yeah. mayor what are you talking about <laughs> right um oh oh yes they mean i think they great yeah. yeah. so so um uh, yeah it's definitely a lot of uh, reality yeah. in, in our culture and it kind of kind, right. kind of reminds me of the, like they say when you have a, a bucket full of crabs right and one crab is about to get out right mm. the other crab will come and pull them back down you know mm. and sometimes it's you know it's sad but it, you know it doesn't only be in our latin community it could, you know transcends all yeah all yeah. cultures but you know even with my own family you know that's kind of what what you experience and you have to learn how to rise above that because mm-hmm. just because you know th- their dreams have been snuffed or you know or they don't have doesn't mean that we can't dream you know mm-hmm. and that was the, the that was the iconic part for me was I, I had I had to just let this dream go you know if not I would have always you know you know as a vehicle wondering Oh, what would have happened? I should, you know, I could have done this, could have done that. I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to ever have that regret. So I said, you know what, let me, let me do it, you know? And uh, so that's, that's what we're going to do. That's great. That's a great message right there, right? And don't have the regrets. I, I heard before that if you ever, right, want to know what, um, uh, what's this, what's the, the word? Yeah. So, I heard I heard many times before from somebody I listened to that uh, you want to go if you ever if you ever see feel sad about your life go to a uh, one of those places where the hijitos go you know yeah, elder okay. pages they go I don't know home care home yeah, right, right. right and, and ask them you know what uh, it, it, what are some of the regrets they have about their life and and, and, and I'm sure they're probably gonna tell you the what if the the, the no going for something, then, right, right. you know, trying something. So yeah, it, you know, it, it's a big impact in, in community in general, right? That uh, our families may do it with a good intention or community friends may do it with good intentions. And if you have a dream, they may, you know, sort of um, go against and discourage you. But in a way, it's just to protect us, right? to protect you, right? They love you. Um, but we... We don't want to have that regret if you have something that you want to accomplish, right? Yeah, that's right. We don't yeah. want to have that regret. Don't do it. You know, that's one thing. You know, try it. You know, because you know a lot. You know, and a lot of things. You know, my whole thing is, you just got to do it. Go out there, and sometimes you will fail, but you learn from your failures, right? And you do it again, and eventually you're gonna get it right. <laughs> you know, you're gonna get it right. You get it right. You can ask people, right, and have experience, but you don't want to have the regrets. Do you think so? In reference, we already mentioned about um, uh, the situations who happens a lot in our Hispanic Latin culture, mm-hmm. but it also could be a reflection for 
many different other cultures. So do you think this is a film that will just attract the Latino viewers or, you know? You know, the, 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 we, we have a great message in the movie. The message is, you know, it's, it's not color oriented, right? You know, though the, the, the Latinos, you know, we rose up and I was very, very thankful that, you know, I was there because I had a hard time finding, you know, Latino actors, you know? You know, so I hired all professional actors and, you know, and, and the ones that they have are geared, like I said, towards prison inmates, you know what I'm saying? Or, or you know, they, they and, and for me, I was like, no, I want, I want a regular guy, right? I want a regular mom or dad, the whole bit. So it was, it was very difficult, you know, to find them. But when I, when I did find them, I was so pleased and, and, you know, so the movie itself, you know, to answer your question is it's, um, it's, 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 all race for all people because it has a, a, a beautiful message at the end where that's going to change your life if you take it to you know if you take it in your heart you know so that's why i call it fill your heart right fill your heart right you got to fill your heart right with god's love you know and i really believe in my in my heart right that as i walk through my own path in life right the only one that kept me in the straight and narrow was having a faith right and a creator bigger than myself Bigger than what I can see physically. I can tell you. So I had to believe into something I couldn't see, right? And I had to fill my heart with it. But I think that's kind of how it gave me the strength to go forth and follow my dream. Mm -hmm. yeah. Great, great, Eric. So, with that said, Eric, can you tell us now about the next step? So, we done producing a movie, or pretty much done, uh, but I know you have a sort of lunch. What, what do they call it? The like, uh, premiere, premiere, oh, event? premiere. Yeah, the pre right. So right now, the the, the movie is is uh, the, the the film part is, is complete, meaning that we got the movie colored, and uh, we have we have it all uh, pretty much you know done. But the only part we're still working on is the uh, the score, which is the, the sound for the movie. So thankfully, you know, I had members. I don't know if there's there, there's a group called War called Motown, and they had all these writers. So one of the writers from Motown, you know, now works with the Whispers, a group that's been out for, for, a, for a few uh, decades, rather. So he actually was, through a friend of mine, got to see the movie, and he got so touched by the movie, he, you know, he asked if he could help, you know, do the score of music for them, and I'm thinking to myself, man, this guy's a godsend. You sure can, right? Because I was looking for somebody, you know, to put, you know, the emphasis. And he really, you know, I was there when he would put music together, and it's such a um, a beautiful thing to witness seeing somebody's creativity come, you know, just come right out of them. And you know, they're watching the movie, the scenes, and they're adding, you know, the sound to it. And just the way that it happens is um, it's magical. You know, for just a, for a lack of better term, it's a magical moment. Being there to witness, you know how how they put the music together. Mm -hmm. So they, they finally finished that. There's a couple other scenes. They're gonna put a couple more old tracks and then they, they put it together. So in about another two weeks, the movie's gonna be complete, complete, and ready for the premiere next uh, May 18th. Be there, please. <laughs> May 18th. May 18th. Um, what I'm gonna do? So we're recording this on April 6, 2019. What I'll do is, I guess information from you once they get the finalize the okay. the event page event page for the premiere and put it depending on where you're watching this facebook or youtube put it in the description somewhere there um so you can go and learn more about the premiere um and also information after that right like it's not gonna be a premiere and that's it that's also the movie's gonna be yeah, right. around right so the premiere will be on may 18th which is a saturday and then after uh, the premiere, it's going to be done at the real theater Blackville. In Vacaville, downtown Vacaville, 308 Main Street. So it's going to be there, premiere the big day. That, you know, we're going to have all the actors there, the meet and greet, red carpet treatment. You know, if you come in, you got VIP tickets, you know, with food and so forth. You get to meet the actors, you get to see the, um, uh, the, the movie, right? Uh, and then afterwards, the group uh, that used to be known as Malo. A lot of the members have gotten, uh, you know, gotten saved, and now they have, they have a new group called Bueno, right? So Bueno's going to be there. They're also in the movie, and uh, they're going to play down down there after the movie. So it's going to be a big party on that okay. day. If they can't make it to the premiere, which is a Saturday, then the movie will play every weekend: Saturday matinee at one o'clock, and Sunday at five p.m. Uh, for about five weeks. So you know, hopefully. 
can't catch it. You catch it one of those days downtown Vacaville. Yeah, it's the Bill Theater, like I said, on Saturday and Sundays. Every Saturday is up for five years. Thank you. And do you mention the time about the premiere? Yeah, the premiere, um, if, uh, if, if the, the VIP will, will, will be at 6 o'clock, 6 p.m. If you just want to see the movie and, and the band and so forth, then it's the, the, the movie starts at uh, 7.15. All right, May 18th. May 18th is the Saturday. Day, uh, Saturday right? And then again, I'm, uh, once uh, that's finalized, I'm going to go ahead and provide the latest information. By the time you're watching this, it's going to have uh, that information. Um, something else that I want to get in, in, invite you, you the, the audience, is to, if you have, have a business or some sort of organization that you would like to promote in this uh, premiere event, Eric has uh, as well uh, opportunity for you to be able to be a sponsor. So Eric, tell us if somebody's interested in becoming a sponsor, where can they can connect with you? How can they connect with you? You can connect to me uh, two ways. You can go to my website and connect with you there, which uh, is, which is uh, fill your heart the movie. And so you have to spell out each word. Fill, F-I-L-L, your, Y-O-U-R, the uh, fill your heart, rather, H E A R T, the T H E movie, M O V I E dot com. And again, I'm, I'll put the, the, the link's information once this is um, up and uh, there. You go. So, send me a Facebook. You, you, and, and there you have my contact information. You can send me an email. I will get your email uh, and then we will respond and I'll come out there and give you a call and come and see you. And uh, it'd be great if you could help us uh, sponsor the event. There's, uh, there's just, uh, you know, a lot of help, you know, this, this you know, making a movie is, is, is uh, you know, it can be quite expensive to make a movie, you yeah. know, and, uh, you know, thankfully the movie, you know, I had for most of you, you know, I had got some donations uh, at first and then afterwards, you know, typically, you know, you just have to, you know, just kind of just hope that everything falls in place and, you know, your help would be very supportive. Especially if you are uh, all about growing the community in Vacaville, right? Because um, imagine if you, especially if you have an organization, a, a business in the community of Vacaville, um, messages like the one who fill your heart, the movie uh, provides, it just keeps um, our community, right, providing good uh, information, good message within our community. So. If you are really about the community, if you have a business in the community and are and are open to give back to the community, you know, putting up, keep continue to support projects like this one helps as well, right? For you, because imagine your community, your community grows to uh, good positive messages. It always comes around, right? Obviously, um, the community will keep growing in, in a good positive way, which obviously will need more business for you, uh, the good business for you, right? Especially if you are uh, a good organization, a good business owner out there that appreciates it for you. So Eric, I want to thank you for your time today. And yeah. it's a good thank message you. that we got to discover. Yeah. Um, so hope to see you there on the premiere, or if not, if you can make it to the show today. All right, have a good one. Thank you.